Come here. Let me see your hair. It's <laughs> gonna be fun to get out. Bobby, look at that. Do you sleep good? Yeah. Yeah? Like 11 hours? So Hazley slept 11 hours. JJ <laughs> didn't sleep more than 45 minutes straight. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a long day. I'd say that was the worst. Is that the worst night, babe? <laughs> it, was, it was rough. <laughs> Get that coffee going. I know. I think he's just mad. Oh, he is mad. That's what happens when you don't sleep. Oh, getting fancy. Look at you. Yeah, I just sprinkle some. Hello. Hi, JJ. Let me go ahead and apologize in advance. If you're from this area, if you plan on visiting this area, there's a lot of awesome stuff to do. And we're not gonna be able to do most of it. <laughs> we're just passing through. We want to see what Lake Placid was all about. And it is an incredible area. It's beautiful. It's along course Lake Placid. And you've got these lakes and these bodies of water in New York that are just amazing. But because we're trying to get to Acadia at a certain time, and because the main thing we want to see here, we didn't check and didn't know this until we got here, because we kind of went like three or four hours out of the way to come. Uh, we were hoping to see the Olympic was it the, which one is it? The ski thing? And the bobsled, I guess it's shut down? Uh-huh. Yeah, so the, um, the, ski jump. the ski jump. So the ski jump, which is nuts. The Sportstätte Lake Placid. Die zwei Chancen am Berg sind sehr beeindruckend. Skispringen ist eine Sportart, bei der Mut und Körperbeherrschung gefragt sind. Die kleinste Bewegung kann zum Desaster. Because the Winter Olympics was held here, I think at least twice. So they've got like the um, Winter Olympics Museum here. They've got the building where I think in 1980, it was, I believe, where the American hockey team beat the Russians, which was a huge deal. Five seconds left in the game. Do you believe in miracles? Yes! Unbelievable. But you could actually go to that rink. But for the most part, a lot of the stuff we want to see having to do with the Olympics is shut down for construction. So, we're going to a mountain. Whiteface Mountain? Is that what this is called? Yeah. You've got some history with the sports stuff. You've got mountains, you've got water, you've got, if you wanna go downtown in Lake Placid, that looked beautiful as well. I mean, you've got a lot of really good stuff to do. You got your nap, you in a better mood? Yeah, yeah. And this is my second cup of coffee. I say cup, I think it's actually two cups. So this is my third cup and fourth cup of coffee. You look like you're about to nap again. You sly little dog. Unreal. This kid has slept all day. Look at his hat. All day. Thug life. Pulls his socks off, does what he wants with his hat. That's how he rolls. Lily's a little out of gloves. Ah, you're lucky you're so cute. Have you ever been to Vermont? Me either. So a few things I know about driving in the Northeast, which we've done the Northeast before, but not this far North. We did the DC, Baltimore, New York City area, which is, would be way more stressful with this big rig because pretty much it's a guarantee you're gonna have mountains, you're gonna be making, starting and stopping for the small towns, you're gonna be dealing with traffic, you're gonna have to watch out for like low bridges and low overpasses and so you can't exactly pop in your audiobook and just go. I mean, you gotta pay attention, you gotta be watching. So far this truck wrap's been doing good. I haven't ran into any issues, but even with that, you still want to use common sense. You want to watch for signs and see what everything's doing. So it was a beautiful drive though. Oh yeah. One more thing you got to watch out for in the Northeast. This has nothing to do with the Northeast actually. This just has to do with our truck. You got to watch out for check engine lights. So we already got our second check engine light of the route. First one was just a fuel filter change. I'm about to get out. I did buy a code reader since last time. So I've got one with me now. I'm going to check that code. One of the things I got off Amazon once we could get mail. I don't know what in the world that means. 
I guess it could be worse. So one of those codes, the same one that was thrown before I changed the fuel filter, but then I changed the fuel filter and like we didn't have that code for, goodness, I don't know, like a thousand miles or something. So now that code's back and we got a new code saying the turbo supercharger boost control A position exceeded learning limit. They at least don't sound like something that's gonna keep us from moving from now, but I definitely need to get those checked out. Where they make ice cream, Hensley. Yes. I've ever heard of a couple people named Ben and Jerry. Ben? Do you know Ben and Jerry? No. You're about to. Meet them? <laughs> they make ice cream. Oh, Hensley. This is gonna be awesome! <laughs> <laughs> the best place ever! <laughs> That's what I said. So other than the DeLorean, we randomly saw in a campground, this, uh, this is a pretty big highlight of the trip so far for me. <laughs> We're always looking for opportunities to stop, break up a travel day, and stretch our legs. And what better way to do that than a Ben & Jerry's factory tour. You know we love our sweets, especially ice cream. Yeah, the secret to traveling is to get your uh, sugar levels up really high. So you want to pass out when you start driving after you get done. So, um, Don't swear your kids out. <laughs> Let them come, stretch their legs so they'll nap, and then you can travel while they're napping. That's the plan, right, JJ? Yeah, you gonna nap later, buddy? <laughs> oh, I, I do want to give him props. He did much better last night. He, he did. did. He did much better. Not Instead of 15 minute stretches, it was like a five hour and a four hour. Yeah, so. we'll take that. Vermont is beautiful, by the way. Oh my goodness. Look yeah, at this, this backdrop. Is incredible. That thing looks huge. I think the farther away you get, the bigger it looks. <laughs> Push you on Saturn. Mm -hmm. All right, you ready? Whoa, it's making me sick just looking at it. Whoa. I like Halloween stuff. I'm not really scared. You're not scared? <laughs> I don't know. It's a graveyard. You might want to be scared. Ooh. <laughs> this is cool. Come on, you want to go to the graveyard? This is totally not too no. Mommy scared? What are you doing back there? <laughs> you scared, JJ? These are all the flavors they killed? Is that I what happened? I guess they're like, yeah, the, the discontinued flavors. Wow. Well, how did this one die? Devil's Food Chocolate? 2001. R.I.P. Whoever came in at 2001 just like... <laughs> put the tail on them, huh? Vermonti Python. That's awesome. <laughs> Do you know what that's from? Um, yes, from Monty, Monty Python. Monty, Monty Python, Monty, yeah. 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 Not Star Wars or whatever oh, else you're going to say. <laughs> Just on your favorite, Marissa. <laughs> it, it just wasn't whoopy enough. <laughs> Double scoop died. Double scoop died. What a bummer. Peanut butter and jelly only made it one year. This is where it went wrong. No, that there sounds you go. good. Yep, now it's good. And they kept bringing it back. And just they keep trying, they, yeah. I would like that This one. one just won't stay down. It won't. It won't die. <laughs> That's awesome. Ice cream? Yeah, let's go, let's go get some real ice cream. Come on. Sample flavor for the day. She got two for some reason. They told me I could have one for the baby, so I'm not gonna turn that down. <laughs> Samples, and now we're gonna get the real deal. Yeah, this is just taste test. Yeah, we're just getting going. <laughs> we got. There's three scoops in here. Okay. It's a large. I just put the cone. I put it in a cup with the cone. On. So I learned on the tour. Oh, by the way, we couldn't, um, no pictures. Technically they didn't say any video, but I'm sure they meant video, but no pictures or video on the tour. Learned on the tour that they put air in ice cream. So here's my thinking. Ice cream's essentially air and we need air to live. So I need ice cream to survive. That's my thought. <laughs> That makes sense. Yeah. It's good logic. Well, pretty so crazy. Dark. Pretty crazy. There's a chocolate one on the bottom, a New York chocolate. There's a coconut one and a, a new flavor. Okay. What's it called? Can't so, remember. so far you've named off zero flavors you got. I said New York and oh, coconut and okay. sugar were in the words. All right, all right. <laughs> it's good. It's good stuff. We're Ben and Jerry fans. Is that tasty, Hensley? Yeah. What was your favorite? The chocolate. 
chocolate? chocolate? I don't know. I'm a coconut girl. guy's having a very bad day. <laughs> Let's just wait for it to burn out. Oh man. So I did offer, I grabbed a fire extinguisher, went over there, but I just don't know what's safe, what's not. So luckily he'd already called the fire department. They got there about 30 seconds after I was talking to him about whether or not we were gonna try to try to use this or not. But I mean, if somebody's life's in danger, that's one thing. Like I would be running up trying to use this, but like, it's his car. I said, look, if you want to run up there, it's your car and try to put it out with a chance of something happening, exploding, you know, if it gets to the, the gas tank or something, but oh, everybody's safe. It's all good. Well, it's, his car's got issues, but everybody's safe. Yeah. He didn't do it all night at least, but for about three hours, slept in about 10 minute stretches. That was rough, wasn't it, bud? You ready for this, JJ? <laughs> he was having a staring contest with a lady at the ticket booth. Did he win? Nope, no. he lost. JJ, what are you staring at now? <laughs> yeah, I love it when he's, I don't know, I just wonder what he's thinking when he's staring at me. I things. know, well, she brought up a good point. I said, he just got up from his nap, so he's taking it all in, and she's like, it must be kind of crazy as a baby to go asleep and wake up somewhere totally different. Yeah. Can you imagine, like, being asleep and then all of a sudden you're like on a train or at Niagara Falls. Remember we were, we're on Bay of the uh, Mist and yeah. he's like in the middle of a boat ride. <laughs> he wakes up some very different places. <laughs> so this is really neat. Um, this is um, what the first cog, they've really got this music rocking out here. Uh, the first cog railway in the world, right? That's right. 1869, celebrating 150 years. Uh, I mean, we talked about this because I'm, it is a little bit pricey to do this, mm -hmm. but I think the saying is when in Rome and in New Hampshire. Is that right? Is that something how? like that. <laughs> but this was just something pretty unique to the area. You can't you can't just do this everywhere. And mm -hmm. I mean, we've we've passed up opportunities to ride up the mountain before, and then come to find out they end up shutting it down later because it's expensive to upkeep. So we thought- let's Pikes Peak, is that what you're referring to, I think? Was it Pikes Peak? I think it was. That it was had Pikes Peak, yeah. Their cog railway and um, at the time it was going and then I had read that they just couldn't afford to keep it up. Mm -hmm. It might be back open at this point. I haven't looked in a while. I don't know, but yeah, you just, um, you do what you <laughs> could do. I mean, nature wise too, hike wise, scenes. I mean, you never know what's gonna be yeah. around, what's gonna be here, you know, when Hensley's our age and stuff, so. <laughs> this is their 150th anniversary of this mm. railway though. So that's pretty awesome. Man, that's beautiful. So this is Mount Washington, somewhere up there. It's the, it's the highest peak in the Northeast. Yeah. Like a 16,200, I'm just kidding, 6,269 <laughs> feet, I think somewhere around there. It's it's up there compared to ground level and it's beautiful. So looking forward to get up there and checking that out too. All we see is this railway going up the mountainside and it like disappears into the clouds. So yeah. I think we're literally going to uh, go into the clouds today. We splurged the extra $6 and we're doing the steam. Um, they only do the, the steam ones uh, a couple times a day so make sure you if that's important to you that you get on there and pick out the steam time but I just thought it was pretty um, historic and I think it's a cool experience to do the steam train. JJ look can you give him a hop back? Yeah! yeah. Good job. <laughs> look at the engine you see how the engine's slanting forward? Okay, we're all doing it. That's why 
Why do you think that? Why do you think it's slanting forward like that? You see how it's not straight? It's, it's slanted like that because we're going up a steep mountain. Just found out why it takes an hour, huh? <laughs> I think I could walk and beat it. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you're the first one up the mountain as long as you get up the mountain. Right. It's just a 35% grade. 37.5. Second only to like, um, there's one in Switzerland, I think it was like 40%. Pretty nice. All right, you guys ready to climb? Oh, here we go, Isley. Oh, we're going up. <laughs> some rocks down there. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Good job. Probably went a little overboard. Um. <laughs> we haven't even made it to the summit yet. We, we just made it to the food. <laughs> so they have a post office up here. I have read that they have a special stamp that you can't get anywhere else. So that's something really cool. I wish we had time to send the letter, but so one of the things we read about the Cog Railway, you only get an hour up here, which really isn't much time by the time you buy pretty much everything they sell um, in the cafeteria thing. So, so we're going to make, make sure we want to get to the summit. We want to try some of the food. We didn't get to do the observatory or send a letter, but... You know we had to do food first. Priorities. <laughs> food and hike. That's, a, that's expected. All right, Hensley, here we go. Woo, baby. Woo. Let's, get to, let's get to the summit. Come on, let's go. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> whoa! Hopefully, we can find somewhere to stand to look around here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, All right, so we're gonna do it. Summit's up here. Summit. It's the top of the mountain, the tip top. Yeah. Here, fuff, fuff, freezing. Yeah. Almost there. All right, touch us on. Good job. Yeah! Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. It open? Let's go, let's get inside. It's open. What's a hotel? That'd be so cool. Go inside, Hensley. Oh, uh, built before the, the road and the railroad. Oh, wow. Oh, thank you so much. Yes. Oh, this is awesome. It's like a hotel, kind of like a place of refuge for people that are hiking, because people have definitely died from hypothermia trying to hike up here. Like, you know, 6,200 feet, just over 6,000 feet, doesn't sound intimidating. But apparently this is like some of the worst weather, not just in the U.S., but the world. Yeah. 
what the, what's the record? 231 mile per hour winds have been recorded here, which is the, the fastest ever the anywhere yeah. in the world. So technically, they say this is the worst weather anywhere in the world. Like it's it's bad. I mean, we've been Pox Peak. It was nothing like this. The, the funny thing is, you don't come up here for the view because you really can't, can't see anything. See anything. Just... He said it's that way probably 300 days out of the year. Yeah. You don't even get to see anything. It's really about just experiencing the weather. Like look at look at this <laughs> look at the cold fog coming in. It's just. I mean, it's probably <laughs> so 40 fun. mile per hour winds yeah. right now, and this is like an average day. This is fun. Um, I don't know if there is an average day, but it's really cool. Don't let the elevation fool you. Um, it's legit. It's really cold. Oh. All right, you cold? Ready to go? If we can find our train, we're getting back on our train. Hensley's done. We're going to see if we can find our train and get back before it leaves. Because it's the last one of the day. Let's go. We're leaving. Get back on our train. We're out of here, right? Are we out of here, Hensley? I don't know if hiking in extreme weather is for you. We're going. <laughs> you did it, bud. <laughs> you don't know you did it, but you did it. <laughs> Hensley didn't want one bit, did you? <laughs> Maybe a little bit? <laughs> Extreme weather is not for me. <laughs> so our guide is up front using two steering wheels for the brakes for this thing as we go down. <laughs> I mean the locomotive is also doing some of the stopping too, but pretty cool. Just like they did in 1866. <laughs> I think that's what's cool about the steam part is that it's original to when they created it. Yeah. You like trains, bud? <laughs> you can see the steam coming it off is. of it. Just, a lot of you, I'm sure, think we eat tacos every night. It's probably every other night. Every other. Yeah, it's something like that. Say. It keeps coming back to me what you don't think of when you think of New York. I don't think you think of mountain ranges either, but there's mountain ranges. I will from now on. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. But Whiteface, awesome. Ben and mm -hmm. Jerry's, there's a curve. Not really a mountain there, but that was a great stop. And then Cog Railway today. Um, That's technically three states in one video. Yeah, I guess it is. <laughs> Started in New York. Had ice cream in Vermont. Uh, saw a mountain in uh, New Hampshire. <laughs> it works. Yeah, thinking of doing something crazy tonight. Acadia National Park's where we're heading, by the way. Mm -hmm. So it's, it was like 30, 45 minutes to campground and I found a little bit farther away. This campground was a little bit farther. So long story short, we really don't want to go more than like four hours and tomorrow's going to be a six hour day. We'll go be there tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah, we'll go be there tomorrow. How do we not like it? It'll just, it'll just <laughs> so either we have a super long day tomorrow, yeah. for us at least, or this is what we're thinking of doing. We're thinking of like leaving tonight, getting a couple hours in. The, the weather's pretty mild. We could pull into a Walmart because we need to go to Walmart anyways. We got to get some stuff before our friends are going to start coming in into the Acadia area, in Portland area. Yeah. So, so our first visitors coming in tomorrow. Yeah, so we tomorrow we, we have to be there. <laughs> so, so we got we got to get there. Yeah. So I think I'd rather break it up than than have the kids sit for for six hours. So, so we're gonna get them in their pajamas. We're gonna do a little bit of barely night driving just a couple hours in the night probably but it's a big difference between four hours and six hours to me mm -hmm. so we're gonna i've got a walmart two hours away that's mm -hmm. on our site so we're gonna get to tonight so and we're just then, gonna uh, go about our regular routine have dinner get a bath get our pajamas um but we'll just end up doing bedtime in a walmart and waking up in a walmart there's nothing crazy about that right no no it's just totally lifestyle normal. is so funny yeah. sometimes so if you're interested in the cog railway like some extra footage i know marissa took some today and almost every excursion we do ben and jerry's and we're always doing extra footage and throwing mm -hmm. it on patreon and connecting with everybody there if you want to check that out feel free to become a patron uh and you can see more content um, more <laughs> more through uh exclusive more exclusive content through patreon we're gonna be calling it a night. We'll be getting our jammies on, get my onesie on, 
I don't have a onesie. We probably need a onesie. Yeah, a onesie would be nice. I probably we'll sleep really well. No. We're going to get our onesies on like Hensley, and we will... Catch you guys later. And hit <laughs> the YouTube button when you want to subscribe to one of these videos. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Hensley. <laughs> I just slapped her hand. <laughs> so she's so All right, catch you guys later.